hello again. The Deutsche Wehrmacht armband um, loosely translates as German Armed Forces. It doesn't translate as German Army. It's German Armed Forces. Uh, this band, you'll always encounter it as a yellow band with this black gothic script stamped onto it. Um, the black gothic script is always the same. The yellow band is always yellow band, but there are variations on what the yellow band is in terms of the type of cloth used. Um, this German Armed Forces armband was worn by German personnel, not, not foreign volunteers, um, German personnel who were civilians and non-uniformed persons who were attached to or were working closely with any branches of the German Armed Forces. Um, it's one of the cheaper armbands that you'll find 50 80 quid something like that the in the service of armbands tend to be cheaper than the more exotic ss sa hitler youth type ones a lot of world war ii german dealers particularly in the uk they don't really carry many armbands because they tend to make more money out of medals and awards and what you find is armbands are more commonly found in the united states because that's where a lot of them went. So you, you find more armband dealers in the States than you do in England. Because English dealers make more money from German medals and actual combat decorations than cloth pieces. So you have the Deutsche Wehrmacht armband. This one is printed on a kind of almost all cloth. It's unlined inside. As you can see, you can actually see through it. So all cloth, almost all cloth, I don't know what you call it. Deutsche Wehrmacht. This one is a felt version. And again, you have Deutsche Wehrmacht printed on the felt. But in all respects, the bands are exactly the same, if you see what I mean. The only difference is, is, is the construction of the actual cloth of the band. So that's the German Armed Forces armband, Deutsche Wehrmacht. And as, as you can see, there is, there is differences in the printing, depending on who did it. I mean, if you look at that W there, and compare it to this W here, this W is wider than that W, whereas that W is taller than that W. And there is, there's differences with the H as well, if you see there. And as we come along, the M is different. And the spacing of the lettering is different. And if you look at the word Deutsche, again, there is differences with the spacing. Because obviously it's a smaller band. But although there's slight discrepancies down to who stamped them, the bands are, for want of a better word, the same if you see what I mean. It's like the Deutsche Volkstum Wehrmacht band. They're all the same, but slightly different down to the manufacturer. So you will find variations, but usually they are black gothic script on a yellow band. So the lettering may be widely spaced, narrow spaced, taller, shorter, but if it's Deutsche Wehrmacht on a yellow band, then it's the German armed forces worn by civilian and non-uniformed personnel who were in the service of working closely with any branches of the German armed forces. So you will find discrepancies. So again, like a lot of the armband videos, don't take this video as being, oh, I've got one of these, but it doesn't look anything like it. If it's Deutsche Wehrmacht on a yellow band, then yeah, it is the same armband, but there are discrepancies within different manufacturers. Bye for now.